Looks like it's got a nice mill in it. Yeah, nice size mill. Yeah. You can go ahead and lay it down out of sleeve them. Looks like the size of maybe a maybe a bowl or something. Yeah, there was a mouse in a piece over there. another one sizable piece on this edge right here that starts that big one I bet you <laughs> like that, uh, that is yep another racer right, well, second snake of the day nice very nice he looks like he's getting ready to shed actually yeah, yeah a little nice. bit blue That's he the, also has a nub tail kind of the rare blue snake right now all right you want to lay it down he's really cold there's a... Oh, race racer. No, that's that's a king. King, king, king. That's the deal. Here, you can give him to me. That's a nice looking one. Yep. Good looking animal. Eastern black awesome. king snake. Yeah, nice eastern king. Fresh shed. Big male. Big male. I think I can do a little bit better than that. Here's another look at that eastern black king snake male. Found here today. Really nice jet black individual. Unfortunately, we won't have this spot anymore after this see after this last visit. So it was probably the last time we'll ever see this particular snake. Uh, hate to see the site go, but this is a good snake to end it on for the year. Now look at that adult male eastern black king before we let him go. There's a nice look at the ventrals. Really big adult male. Really enjoyed seeing this snake today. Could possibly be the last Black King for the year, and this is the last uh, time for this spot. Nice Edmondson County King. Really nice, that iridescence on him. Hopefully we see one more, or a few more, before the year's out. Here's this big male eastern black king snake. Uh oh, I wouldn't go through that hole, buddy. I'm gonna release him into this log. There's actually a hole right there. I think he's probing in. Really nice look at this snake. There he goes. Like I said, there is actually a hole that he's going into right there. There he goes. Safe inside this log. Nothing's getting him. We are loading up his metal currently. But I'm sure he'll make this a suitable home for now. He's still inside the same woods. Really nice looking area. Unfortunately, we won't be using the spot anymore. Because uh, the daughter of the property owner is building a house back here. Uh, really unfortunate to see this spot go. But... I'm sure we'll find many more snakes at spots also inside this area. Really nice. As you can see, that king snake has completely gone down that burrow. But very nice. Hopefully we find some more today. Alright, so we're relocating some metal right now. That we loaded up from the previous spot where we found that black king, like I mentioned inside uh, the previous video. So about, how many pieces did you say, Phil? I think we got 24, is that right? 26 pieces? maybe? 26. 26. Mm -hmm. Some of these are 14 feet long. Yeah, pretty big pieces of metal. 
I'm going to set up a time lapse here and uh, what you're going to watch us take it out and maybe even uh, put some of it away into its new home. Hopefully we'll find some good snakes here in the next few years or hopefully even next spring if we're lucky. Uh, but yeah, this is the area that we've chosen to put it. Right there in this right, little forest edge. Looks nice. That one, I'll just come. All right, here is all the metal from the previous site where we found that male eastern black king snake. But these pieces are about four foot wide by about 14 feet long. And then there's also some heavier pieces that are like the brown colored ones that are, uh, I'd say about two foot wide, maybe two and a half by um, 12 to 13 feet long. But really big, really heavy pieces. These are going to do wonders here. Uh, really hoping to find some corn snakes, so lots of copperheads, of course the more common stuff like uh, black racers, ringnecks. Uh, we've seen worm snakes here, but the real goal is for corn snakes at this site, and we're hoping that these uh, draw more of them out. We've only seen one here this year. We did also see one last year, but we did not video either of those, unfortunately. But yeah, really hope that these make a difference. We're also also doing a few stacks here, so hopefully this does this property good. Two, two more snakes. So that is 398. Whoa, you're Still so close. Yet. So close. That one's actually not in the shed. Oh, okay? Yeah, I'm good. Are you sad about it? Or? Yeah, it's a medium ah. sad one. Ooh, nice little thing next thing. Another one. What's yeah. a nice one there? I bet it's the same one. Oh yeah, that one is big. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> I'll flip you grab, remember now. <laughs> oh god, I'm just gonna release this guy back under here. <laughs> that was 99. So one was one more snake. Oh man. This is an old abandoned house. And uh, I stayed in the car, but Dustin yelled over and said he found a snake. Alright. This is our 400th snake for the year. And it's not a super common one. We see a whole lot. We've only found one other one. Or two. Two other ones. They're pretty common. They're super common. Yeah, so this is a worm snake. It's just been, uh, it's been really dry. So they've been a tough find for the year. Mm -hmm. Maybe we haven't been in a drought pretty that much. That one's in blue so as well. June, July. Yeah, it's been drought like for sure. It's been very dry. Yeah, yeah. so snake number 400. Yeah. I want to be the first to congratulate you two on snake number 400. <laughs> yeah, yeah. ma'am. Going for six next year. Going no, for yeah. Six. Yep. Yeah. Looks like a big male. Well, you guys are at the Comic Con. I'll be at it. <laughs> <laughs> Notching more numbers. This guy's in a rough shape. Yeah, he needs a shed. Where was he? Uh, I think under this piece. I'm gonna go ahead and release him back under there. Snake number four hundred. Yeah.